Hi, I'm Juliana Cohen and I'm an Associate Professor in the School of Health Sciences. I'm Lena Burra. I'm an Assistant Professor in the School of Health Sciences. My name's April Bowling, and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Health Sciences and one of the core faculty in the Center for Health Inclusion, Research, and Practice, also known as CHIRP. So the Center for Health Inclusion, Research, and Practice was actually founded to bring together three areas in which Merrimack finds its strength. One is undergraduate and graduate education. The second is community engagement. And the third is um, health disparities and health sciences research. CHIRP is really about integrating the great work that so many faculty members at Merrimack College are doing and really thinking about it as an opportunity for us to leverage that to have an even bigger impact in our community to address health disparities and to really make a difference in, in people's lives. We were able to leverage the work that's being done in three core labs in the School of Health Sciences uh, to create a center that really focused on health research that is both inclusive and uh, advances um, uh, the reduction of health disparities in our communities. Our work centers around uh, both children and adolescents and even transition age youth who have uh, a variety of different psychiatric and neurodevelopmental dis disabilities. We look at using physical activity, nutrition, and sleep as a way not just to reduce the chronic disease risks, but to actually improve the symptoms of their mental health and neurodevelopmental disabilities. So Thrive really focuses on moving research out of laboratories and into real world settings. We do that by leveraging innovative technologies. So things like extra gaming, which is video games that require physical activity and exercise to play. I direct the Nourish Lab, which is focused on children's nutrition and looking at innovative ways to get kids to eat healthier and also address food insecurity. On a typical day throughout the nation, about 30 million children eat a school meal every single day. And the majority of those children come from lower income households. Many rely on school meals for up to half their daily energy intake. So a lot of our research focuses on how do you get kids to actually eat those healthier meals in schools. So the MitoCure lab focuses on looking at the cell biology of aging. Our goal is to use targeted therapies to see if we can reverse these age-induced changes at a cellular level with the hope of preventing or delaying the onset of metabolic diseases. Currently, MitoCure lab focuses on targeted therapeutics, but eventually we plan on implementing lifestyle changes and dietary interventions to see if we can reverse these changes to promote health span. So one of the things that links all three labs in CHIRP is the focus on preventing the long-term changes in the body that can influence not only physical disease risk but also mental disease risk as well and promotes wellness. CHIRP's success is the success of our students um, we want our students to be successful researchers, have a great career. I also see success as creating an evidence base that's really going to move the field forward to really do impactful research that's truly going to be able to improve the lives of others and address health disparities. <music>